Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Lock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICIC Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 6 Ratio and Proportion Exercise 6A Question Number 10. This one says divide rupees 2060 between three people x, y, and z such that x gets three fifths of what y gets and the ratio of the share of y to z is 6 is to 11, right? So basically, here what we have to see is that a total amount is given. What is the total amount? It is rupees 2060. Okay. So this rupees 2060 we have to divide in three different people x y and z so you see that a ratio is given to us what is the ratio ratio of the share of y to z this means the amount y will get to the amount z will get is 6 is to 11 row okay so 6 is to 11 is their ratio between y and z so it is saying one more thing is added that x gets three fifths of what y gets so you see that this if y gets 6, let's say, so x will get 3 fifths of 6. But here what we, uh, what we know is that we don't know what 6 will get. The actual amount we don't know. This is the share. This is not the actual amount. So actual amount we don't know and that is what we are being asked to find in this question. We have to find the share of each and every one, x, y and z. So already we know that the ratio that is y is to z is equal to how much? 6 is to 11 okay this is our uh, basically y is to z is equal to 6 is to 11 now re, uh, now you can see here one more thing is that now we have to make ratio x we have to add x in this ratio as well so we have to find x is to y is to z if we will find ratio of all the three then we will use the formula that is first term upon total number of terms into the total money and for second term and third term respectively right so we have to add x in this but we don't know share of x so how will we find that see it's very simple we know that x gets how much three fifths of what y gets so for instance we will say that y gets y amount let's say okay so three fifth of y will be 3 upon 5y okay this is 3 fifth of when it is being multiplied you say of so 3 fifth of y now we can write this in a fractional form as well this y here is being multiplied so take this y here so you'll have x upon y is equal to 3 upon 5 all right now now you can write this in ratio how see um so x is to y all right is equal to 3 is to 5 this is our ratio 3 is to 5 and we already know that y is to z is equal to 6 upon 11 now another problem arises that you can see y is common here but you see that y, y at one place y is 5 and at the other place y is 6 so you have to convert this into uh, the lcm basically multiply it with their common multiplier so uh, what we'll have here, see, uh, x upon y we already know, x upon y is equal to 3 upon 5, right? And simply 5 and 6, their LCM is 30, right? So 5 into 6 and 3 into 6, then y upon z also is equal to 6 upon 11. Again, 6, 30, so 6, 5, z is 30, okay? So 11 into 5 and this one will be 18 upon 30 and this one will be 30 upon 55 okay here you see that we have y at both of our places as 30 now we write our ratio x is to y is to z as how much 18 is to 30 is to 55 all right and now you see we have our ratio that is x is to y is to z is so on now we can find the value of each of the term how see x is equal to uh, well uh, the share of x upon total number of terms total number of terms right i just write it here okay so total uh, number of terms is how much let's add all of them so we'll get 18 plus 30 plus 55 and that will be 8, 5, 1, 13 and 1. So 5 and 10, right? 103. 103 is the sum of the 
terms. Now we'll have 18 upon 103 into total. Total is what? Uh, this 2060 rupees, right? So 2060. How many times does this go? One time. 206 goes how many times? So 103. Two times. You'll multiply, you'll get two. Okay, so two and a zero here. Okay, 18 into 20 will be 18 into 2 is 36 and 10 will be as it is. So 360. Okay, you can put the rupee sign here. Okay, so x gets rupees 360. Now, what will y get? Y will get y 830 okay 30 upon total number of terms 103 into how much total 2060 that will be 1 and 20 here all right so 30 into 20 will be 6 3 into 2 is 6 and 2 0 600 all right and rupee sign as well all right so rupees 600 here and last one is z okay so this will write as z was 15 right it was 55 sorry not 15 55 so 55 upon 103 right into how much that is the total total amount is 2060 again so solve this 103 one time 2060 20 time 55 into 20 will be how much 55 and 20 let's do the multiplication so five zeros are 10 and 1 carried over 11 and a 0. So 1100, right? Rupees 1100. Okay, so this becomes our answer rupees 1100, rupees 600, and rupees 360. So x gets rupees 360, y gets rupees 600, and z gets rupees 1100. You can even check your answer if you are not satisfied by adding all the three, and this should add up to our total 2060, which it will add. Okay. And friends, this is all for today. If you are new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on this video so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And friends, take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.